Yesterday I spoke with popular local author David Sloan. Now one of the books that David has written is called the Key West Bucket List. This is a list of things you must do while either living or visiting Key West. An item that I imagine is on a lot of people's bucket list, including my own, is to run a marathon. If you think you have the self-discipline to do it, listen up because my next guest, they have the program that can get you there. Liz and Bill, thank you for being with me this thank morning. Thank you very much thank for having you. us, Jenna. All right, let's start by telling our viewers what, what Ultimate Athletics is. Now, Ultimate Athletics is um, going into its second year. Uh, and Ultimate Athletics is, is a coaching and, and training business, um, whether it's marathons, it's adventure races, it's losing weight. Um, it's just changing your lifestyle and, uh, and, and seeing what you can do with yourself. Okay. Really now, Ultimate sounds a little intimidating. Can anybody be Ultimate? It, it, you know, it does sound a little intimidating, but you know, what we've done is we've, we've tried to dispel that, that rumor, that myth that, that everyone can be ultimate. Um, we can. We all have it within ourselves. Um, and it really goes off of um, you know, your, your fitness level to your personal life. It's not about winning every single race. It's about having bad races or having a bad day at work, but trying the next day to go out and do better um, and seeing how far we can push ourselves um, and, and seeing where it can take us. Okay. So, now, I understand that you guys kind of have a new project in the works right now. Could you tell me about that? Yeah, we're working on Ultimate Racing, which is a, a branch off of what we've been doing with the coaching and the training. Um, a, lot of our, a lot of our participants, they go on and they do these big races, and we take groups up to Miami and do races. Um, so we kind of wanted to bring that here, bring that excitement. There's a lot of races in town, um, and so we wanted to create Ultimate Racing to be able to kind of captivate the audience locally and be able to continue the fun and adventures down here in the Keys. Okay. Now, is it true that you guys could take anyone, someone who's never ran before, and get them to an ultimate level, get them running a half marathon or a full marathon? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're just coming off of the couch, running around the corner is your ultimate level for that day. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to the next step and maybe doing a mile, maybe then a 5K, maybe a half marathon. It's how far you want to go. Um, you know, I've taken people, and Liz has as well, and we've taken them, you know, off of the couch or, or um, in a sedentary lifestyle and had them run half marathons and competed in triathlons um, and, and different activities. So and it is definitely doable. It's a, it's a way of life down here, and this community is so great because we do have the opportunity to have a season where there's so many 5Ks in town, and then you have a 10K in marathon that happens every year, and then you have the half marathon, you have the seven mile bridge run, so we have all of these events down here that we can really push ourselves to the next level and build our way up to that next level, which would be the, the marathon level. So you have so many opportunities down here just in our community. Okay, and now you have a, a big event coming up, a new event, right? We have we've slated for a lot of events coming up. We're really yeah. excited about a lot of them. Our first one's gonna be in October um, during Fantasy Fest, and we want to back, bring back an old tradition of doing a fun run. Um, family, friends, everyone comes out and we get to run down to Ball Street um, for a mile. In our costume. And it's just <laughs> all kinds of craziness <laughs> gonna happen. So uh -huh. again, it's not a, an event that uh, you're gonna go out and, and, uh, and win any records. We're gonna go out and have fun together um, mm -hmm. and then go out and have fun afterwards. That so we do, we've got some huge uh, surprises and events coming up next year as well that we'll be uh, announcing very shortly. Okay, and now if there's a viewer out there who's never ran before, like we've mentioned, you guys can get them ready for a half marathon or a full. How many months of training would they need? It really depends on the depends event. Depends on their, mm -hmm. their level, too, where they're starting from. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere from 12 to... 18 weeks, 32 yeah. weeks. It really, really honestly depends on them. Um, mm -hmm. Depends on what they want. You know, some people, they don't, they want time constraints. They've got work, they've got family, they've got kids. So uh, we go by what, what we're dealing with with that individual. Okay. How many marathons have you both ran? Um, you know, I don't think either one of us have really been just been, been specific in the marathons. Mm -hmm. um, I've done Lauderdale a couple of years ago. Um, both of us dwell more on, uh, on uh, the triathlon yeah. community. Okay. Um, and then the half marathon training a couple of times. Liz has done yeah. smart rides a mm -hmm. couple of times. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now tell, us, tell our viewers what the future holds for Ultimate Racing. We, we really look to take it to the next level in Key West. Um, you know, we want to go out on a national and an even an international scale and offer events down here that really, they're for the community, but they also drive, drive tourism down here. You know, 
we, Kiwa, you know what Key West is known for, we're a fun town. Um, so we want to bring that other demographic in. You know, I believe the latest polls show about a 203% increase in marathon participation over the past five years. So why not, why not take that, that swing in, in the whole this nationwide change that's happening and bring it down to Key West and make us a destination event as well. Um, you know, events happen year round, so why not make a marathon a big event down here? Mm -hmm. And you both agree that David Sloan should have run a marathon on his Key West bucket list. One hundred percent. Kind of upset it's not in there already. <laughs> yes. I don't know why it's not. <laughs> Maybe on the next conference. Right. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> All right. If people want more information, they can check out your website, mm -hmm. and they can also call both of you. The numbers are on the screen right now. Yes, yes. Please do. Yes, thank thank you. you for sharing all this information. Thank with you so much viewers. for having us. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.